Hey, what up, YouTube? This is iPhone Tips One, and uh, this is um, uh, application review for my Mac. So it's, these are all the applications that my dog have the, my most favorite applications that I use, and uh, ones that I recommend if you have a Mac to download. First of all, we'll start off with um, uh, Mozilla Firefox. You may have heard of Mozilla Firefox. I'm sure most people have. Especially if, if you're converting from PC to a Mac, it's a great application that's very native and you know how to use it. So this is a Firefox, the same on Windows. Uh, I'm on Swagbox. To you guys who have entered my uh, PlayStation 3 or iPod Touch giveaway or my uh, iTunes card giveaway will know that uh, on the screen now actually that uh, this is where you have to sign up to take part in the contest. So yeah, check it out Swagbox. Anyway, back to the video. Uh, Mozilla Firefox, very easy to use. Uh, yeah, so everyone knows that Mozilla Firefox is obviously a browser. So that's uh, one of the great applications if you're converting from a PC to a Mac. First thing you should really download if you don't like Safari or any other web browser. The next application we're going to look at is, um, I'm sure you all know these ones, iTunes, iMovie, Ballpark, iLife, Logic Pro, that's something to pay for extra. Time Machine, this is a great application. If you have Time Capsule, which I do, backs up all your all your uh, data on your Mac, stores them in a safe place. Time Capsule, you may have seen it. I, I, I'm not connected to it at the moment. There's a drop down, like within, you're like in a space capsule. It shows you like the, your previously saved documents. You can pull them back up if you delete them accidentally. Very nice to use. So that's Time uh, Time Machine. Tweet Deck. If you have Twitter, this is a great application to download. Um, just type it in Google or Swagbox and uh, it'll come straight up. Twitter, I'll open it, tweet deck, I'll open it up for you. It's a great application for Twitter. As you can see, it comes up with all your friends list, direct mentions, uh, and uh, people they ask, recommend to um, follow. So these are people who I'm following. If you guys will follow me, this is where I write my tweet. To you guys. Yeah. So yeah, just sending you guys a tweet now. Those who are in the contest. So yeah, that's Tweet Day. It's a really nice application, very simple to use. Next application is Handbrake. If you don't know what Handbrake is, it's where you can copy DVDs from. Uh, you can copy films from your DVD and convert it into an iTunes file so you can put it on your iPod straight away. Very nice application. As you can see, you insert your DVD. I don't have a DVD at the moment, but if you did, you would come up on here and uh, you would search. Um, you would search, sorry, you would search it and then copy it and then change the format of it over here. You can see, see the format. And a uh, very useful application if you love watching movies and you have loads of DVDs. So yeah, that's Handbrake. Get you. GetTube is where you can download music, the, the MP3 file or the MP4 file from a YouTube video. Very useful, I do that. If I want to download a video, I use GetTube. So you, if you have, a, you have a Mozilla Firefox or Safari, and if you're watching a video, you would click, if you were watching a video in Safari, you would click on Safari and it will find what you're watching. Very useful, I love using that. So, um, and the next application is uh, Hulu Desktop. It only works in US, and it is a application which um, allows you to uh, watch. I have to install it. It allows you to watch um, films, um, TV shows, and music videos on that application. So it's really nice. Check that one out, Hulu Desktop. Or you can search all these applications in Google. There's iPod Disc. That is a nice app. Uh, uh, it's an application where if you, if you're for whatever reason, you lose all your music on your iTunes library over here, you would just plug in your iPod and connect, and then it will sync all the music from your iPod or iPhone back to your iTunes. Very simple if uh, if you've uh, lost uh, a lot of them, um, your, all your iTunes music library. ScreenFlow, this is, this is how I'm recording my video at the moment using ScreenFlow. Very, very nice setup. Um, as you can see, as I do my editing and stuff through the video, it's done through this application. It costs like $79, but I'm sure you can look somewhere to get it for free. Wallsaver. Wallsaver is where you can use, you can change the wallpaper, like Windows Vista has Dream Scene where the background moves. You can do the same on this. So if I activate it, 
you see here that my wallpaper is starting to move at the back. So yeah, it's really nice, but it does take up a lot of CPU storage space. And um, uh, if you're doing a lot of uh, work and stuff on your computer, then it will slow down the performance. But it's really nice to have. The last one, oh no, uh, we have Windows Media Player. So if you want to play WMD files formats, if you're converting from Windows to Mac, this is great to have. Especially with uh, a lot of people complain about trying to find converters, but this is great to have if you want to watch WMD format videos. Last but not least is App Cleaner. I'll just open that for you just to show you what it is looks like. So it's basically just that. It's really simple. Last but not least is App Cleaner, where if you want to ever delete an application, you just drop it in this area here and it'll delete. You can get a list of all your applications that you have. It's a very simple way, instead of from searching for an application and deleting it individually, you can put loads in it and just delete. See, if I load it, you can just tick it and uh, you can search for it and that's it so thanks for watching guys remember the iPod Touch, uh, PlayStation 3 and iTunes gift card giveaway they are on the screen at the moment, check them out subscribe if you love these kind of videos, if you want more applications uh, this, is, this is mainly for iPhone and iPod Touch but I'm going to involve some Mac as well some like tips and stuff like that so um, thanks for watching guys and uh, please subscribe Thanks.